Hello, today I will be showing you how to use Otter on an iPad, which is not very different from a desktop or a laptop. The first step is to download the app Otter onto your mobile device. If you choose to use Otter on a computer, the website is www.otter.ai. Once it is downloaded, you will begin by opening the Otter app. The first thing that you are going to want to do is to set up an account so that all your files are easily accessible. Keep in mind that students get 600 free minutes to record or transcribe per month. From here, it will take you to the home page of the app where you will access your recent activity list in the center of the screen. Here, your previously recorded files are available for quick access. The main feature in Otter is the blue microphone button at the bottom right of the screen. Keep in mind that this icon may be in a different spot if using Otter on a computer. Once you select the blue button, Otter will start to record and type out everything that is said and overall does a very good job in terms of accuracy. Otter can be used to transcribe just about anything, including interviews, meetings, class lectures, or videos. Once you are done recording the audio, select the stop icon at the bottom of the screen. When you select stop, however, no additional content can be added to that file, so if you need a short pause and then want to keep transcribing into the same file, instead select the pause icon to the left of stop. When stop is selected, the file will begin processing. Depending on the length and the size of the file will determine how long it will take to process. The file is now done. By selecting the note and selecting the title, you can name this file so that it is easy to identify when coming back to review it later. For more organization and easier access, you can select the three dots in the top right hand corner and move the file into a folder. I suggest having different folders for each class. You'll notice that you are getting a transcript version of the file, as well as the audio. To play an individual file, open it and then select the blue play button at the bottom of your screen. Once you select the blue button, Otter will start to record and type out everything that is said and you also have the options to skip five seconds forward or to rewind five seconds. Located in the bottom left corner is the button labeled 1x. This option lets you determine how much faster or slower the audio is read. You can also choose to skip silence on your files. Please note that this feature is not included in the free membership. Once you have the options you want, select the Save button at the bottom and enjoy. Another great tool that this app provides is when you select a set of words, you can choose from the following options. Copy, highlight, comment, add photo, and share. The most used options are highlight and comment. For example, if there is a definition or important sentence to be noted, you can select it and choose highlight. The comment feature allows you to select a sentence or more and then type in whatever comment you want to associate with that text. It will save your comment and mark it in the transcript for you to come back later and read again. If you have already recorded material, the cloud with an upwards arrow icon located in the top right allows you to import audio or video files that you have stored in Dropbox or another folder. Simply select Browse and navigate to where you have saved your file and it will bring it into the app and start processing right away. Here is the file we previously imported and it has been processed. Please note that depending on the length and size of the file, it will determine how long it will take to process. You'll notice again that you are getting a transcribed version of the file and also the audio.